All right, let's look at the next case. We notice that there's an angle A, and here is the second side, and it's shorter than the first side. This would be side one and side two. It's always across. So in that it's shorter, you really know already that three things could happen. It could be too short, and we get zero answers. It could hit exactly, and we could obtain one answer. Or it might be short enough to intersect twice, and we would get two answers. So we don't know which one it is, but we know one of these three things is going to happen. And you don't know until you start it. So we're just going to start it. We're going to draw it like it all works nicely. And we'll just find out what happens. So the sine of 73 is to 8 as the sine of c is to 14. Sine of c times 8 equals 14 times the sine of 73. Sine of c equals 14 times the sine of 73 over 8. And uh, this will uh, give us a approximate decimal. Let me calculate that. The decimal is 1.83 or something close to that. Now here I recognize there's something wrong. Um, we learned back when we talked about trigonometry that the sine ratio has to be between 0 and 1. So there's a, there's a problem here and you'll find out immediately your calculator will tell you there's a problem. When you put this into the calculator immediately you will get this. This is your trigger point to say that actually back here that 8 never quite made it. It was too short to close it out. So this is the no solution case. Now remember, I didn't know it was the no solution case. I knew it was one of the possible things that could happen because side 2 was shorter than side 1. But I didn't know which one it is. But I do know now that there is no solution to this problem. It was just too short.